Okay, and welcome to this tutorial about completing the square, and we're going to ask two questions here. We're going to ask, how do we do this? And we're going to ask the question, importantly, why do we do this? The why we do it is something about what we can instantly see. Um, when we have a completed square quadratic, let me give you something like this. We would often look at this and straight away, what I could tell you is that the vertex is at minus 3, 7. That's often the reason we might do it. Minimum values, vertices. If we look at the vertex, why do I know that? I know that because if I square something, think about squared numbers. 4, 9... The thing I know about squared numbers is they always seem to come out positive, do they not? If I use minus 7 squared, 49. The lowest it ever gets is 0 squared, which is 0. That's the lowest squared I can ever get. And so, if I know this, then this bit, this bit, something squared, lowest that gets is when it is 0 squared. To make it 0 squared, x must be minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0 squared. So I use x is minus 3 to 0 the bracket. And when that happens, all that's left is the plus 7. So that is why I would often complete the square, so that I know minimum values, I know a vertex. How do I do it? Well, a completed square... Now, so if I take a quadratic, let me take this one. I'm going to choose as my square an x to give me an x squared. And I'm going to choose a plus 3. The reason I'm going to choose a plus 3 is I'm looking at this, and it's very much what you look at to complete the square. What you always keep your eyes on is that. Don't worry about that plus 1 at the end does absolutely nothing for us. So I choose x because I want an x squared, and I choose a 3 because 3 is half of plus 6. And you'll see why this happens if you multiply out x plus 3 squared. And that bit on the end, that 3 times 3 plus 9, is something that I don't want. So, I use x plus 3 squared. I'm going to get my x squared. I know I'm going to get my plus 6x. I will get a plus 9 that I don't want, so I simply need to take it off. And I will have then done the job. x plus 3 squared. The minus 9 that I didn't want that came out of the bracket. The plus 1 that I just left alone and it just sits there. Minus 9 plus 1 is 8 and there's my completed square. Done. Could it be easier? Think of another one. x squared plus 8x minus 5. What do you choose? Well, you know you're going to need an x because that's going to give us the x squared. The plus 8x means I'll need a plus 4 here. And you get used to doing this quickly because you know that x plus 4 squared will give you the x squared you want. It will give you the 4x plus 4x. It will give you the 8x that you want. It will give you, unfortunately, a plus 16 you don't want. So the first thing you do is take that away. And the minus 5 just sits there, does no harm to anybody. And we get x plus 4 squared minus 21. Completed the square. One more. x squared minus 10x plus 2. Things to choose. I need an x because I need an x squared. A minus 5 because 
I need a minus 10, half of that. And I think, what will I get? And what do I not want? x squared, that's good, I want that. Minus 5, minus 5, minus 10x, that's good, I want that. And finally, plus 25 that I don't want. So the first thing I do, minus the 25. The plus 2, no harm to anybody. We just include it at the end. And the square is completed. Of course, the y, where's the vertex? When does the bracket become 0? At x equals 5. And when that happens, what will we have? Minus 23. That's the vertex of the quadratic. Good. OK, let's have a look at one or two more. Here's a question. Complete the square for... This should be no problem to us. x, because we want an x squared. Plus 10, so let's include a plus 5. Ask ourselves what we're going to get. x squared, good. 5x, 5x. The 10x, good. What do we get we don't want? 5 times 5. So let's take that away. The plus 2 sitting on the end. And our answer, x plus 5 squared minus 23. There we go. Done. Aha! We have a problem. We have a 3 in front of our x squared. That's a bit tricky. 3 is not a square number. If we get a number in front of our x squared, there's a, a very easy way to do it. You've got to keep your eyes on that. And if you do, this should work. So, First of all, don't worry about the plus 7. The plus 7 is just going to stay sat on the end all the way through. We'll do no harm. We'll sort it out at the end. Keep your eyes on the x bits, what you'll do. The 3 that we do not want. Let's put that outside one big old bracket to start with. Inside will be left the x squared. And two 3s will be left a 2x. OK? Now, keep your eyes firmly fixed on those x's and we will have now let's deal with the x's we will have an x to give us the x squared we will have a plus one to give us the two x that will give us an x squared it will give us a two x it will also give us a plus one which we won't want take it off and we should have finished. We should have now three lots of x plus 1 squared, three lots of minus 1, and sat on the end plus 7, which we just left alone, 3x plus 1 squared, minus 3 plus 7, plus 4. There we go. Not so bad. Maybe a little bit awkward when we have this number in front. We'll do one more of those, and then we'll just conclude... Let's perhaps just go back. Let's get myself a clean sheet. Let's make one of these up. So, for example, if we had a 4x squared, the 4 gives us the problem. And what we will do is, let's say we've got an 8x plus 5. The 4 is the problem, so the 4 goes outside a bracket. Remember the number on the end just stays put. Ignore it all the way through every time. Keep your eyes on the x's. Just putting the, the, the unhelpful 4 outside of a bracket to start with leaves us with an x squared and a 2x. Now keep focused inside there. We have x squared, we want that, and 2x, so we want a plus 1. This will give us an x squared, which is good. It'll give us the plus 2x, which is good. It'll give us a plus 1 we don't want, take it off. 4 lots of x plus 1 squared, minus 4 lots of minus 1, and plus 5 on the end. Answer, 4 of those. Minus 5 plus 1 plus 1, there it is. 
Question, where's the vertex of this quadratic? When is that bracket 0? x is minus 1, and what's left? 1. That's the vertex. One more question. Here we go. We have 2x squared minus 8x plus 2. There's a 2 we don't want. Get that outside of a big old bracket and just leave that bit at the end. We're keeping our eyes, as we always do, on that. So we've got a 2x squared minus 4x. Now let's complete the square inside there. Still keeping our eyes on that. We will need an x to give us the x squared. We will need a minus 2 to give us minus 4. And if we thought about what we're going to get there, we'll get an x squared. Good. We'll get a minus 4x. Good. We'll get a minus 2 times 1. We'll get a plus 4 we don't want. Take it away. And our, shop, our, our task is now done. We've got two of those. And we've got two of those. So we have two lots of x minus 2 squared. Minus 6. There we go. And where is the vertex? Well, let's do a quick sketch of this. The vertex is going to be when the bracket is 0. So the vertex, when is the bracket 0? And x is 2. And what will that leave? Minus 6. So at 2 minus 6, we have ourselves the bracket. And so minus 6. So this question here, minimum value of y is minus 6. Draw a sketch, that's good. And just for a little bit of added detail, this number here, x is 0, y is 2. And completing the square.